name is Spacey. I'm sure you're wondering why I look like this. The truth is that for Snow World, this is quite normal. Here, there's a wide variety of places, creatures, and adventurers like me. But of course, there's also a wide variety of problems. For example, I don't actually have my adventurer's license yet. I'm just a food delivery girl for now. But soon, I'll be able to fulfill my dream. Together with my two best friends, Rex and Mint, we made a promise to form the best adventuring group in Snow World. However, we are in the middle of a major energy crisis, even if it doesn't seem like it. According to our dear Empress, Feebel Luxbell, the planetary energy is corrupting, creating new and dangerous monsters all over the planet. Feebel doesn't give me much confidence, but natural disasters and monsters are real. So the Empire keeps us with all kinds of restrictions. Because of this, money is starting to get tight. So I took this job to help my family. Here's your food. Bon appetit. Uh, thank you. <laughs> ah, I finally finished my shift. <laughs> Hello. Crazy! We left us two stars. Have you been jumping on the rooftops again? But Mr. Pickler, it's the only way to get to the house is on time. Why don't you let me carry the food on the wrist phone? I told you it takes away the flavor! They'd leave us one star! How obsessive! What did you- <sighs> Just a couple more days, and I'll be free. Mineral skin is more resistant than that of plant features due to the- uh... here so late is it is today the day after all this time she'll confess her true feelings to me oh, uh, okay calm down rex what will spacey think if she sees you like this rex are you studying uh i'm going to go take a break remember no more than five minutes yes mom <laughs> i'm dying uh, hi, Spacey. How are you? Fine, thanks. But my boss scolded me. Don't jump on the roofs. Don't put the food on the wrist phone. Um, you should be more careful. You could get fired. I don't care. This is just until we get our adventurer's license. Uh, yeah. About that. I'm not taking that test. What? But we promised! Yeah, when we were kids. Spacey, you know you have my full support, but with everything that's going on in the world, with all the adventurers that are disappearing? That's why Snow World needs adventurers more than ever, to know what's going on. Don't you miss when the three of us used to go on adventures together? Uh, of course I do, but uh, my family thinks it's just wiser to study medicine. And what do you think? Uh, me? Go to your home. In a few minutes, the curfew will begin, and the power will be cut off. Remember that at this hour, the beast come out. I must go, but I promise you that things will be better. You'll see at tomorrow's conference. Bye. Hmm. What I think. Turning your reports to me tomorrow. Don't forget. How was your day, dear? Well, although a bit bored of my job. Did you get fired? <laughs> Very funny, Bob. But this job is temporary. You'll see, when I get my license, I'll find out what's going on in Snow World. Don't worry, Spacey. Tomorrow, our Empress will give us a solution. Who knows? I hope that midget will change things for the better. 
Great. The power's out. Well, it's bedtime, kids. <sighs> Curfew has begun. It is forbidden to go out from 9 p.m. until 5 a.m. And in view of the energy crisis that affects all of Snow World, thanks are due to your majesty, Feebel Luxbell, for providing us with these new energy purifiers. Thank you, Mayor Iser. It is an honor for me, Fidel Luxbell, to be able to use our technological advances to contribute to Snow World. We understand that many things have changed lately, but little by little, we will get back to normal. It is my regret to announce that the number of people injured and killed by wild beasts has increased, endangering our inhabitants. This is why activities such as exploring, going out to the outskirts, will be strictly forbidden until further notice. Oh. Huh? But your midget, Steve, that's not fair. Aren't adventurers supposed to explore what's going on? Uh, oh, oh, shut up! What are you doing, Spacey? Uh, you midget, Steve. Are you insinuating that I'm short? That's right, little dwarf. Surely you're hiding something. <laughs> Me and my big mouth. Wait! Come back here! You'll never take me alive! <laughs> Girl, don't get into any more trouble. Spacey! <laughs> Silly! <laughs> Let's be more cautious. But hey, don't you think it's weird that since Bell has been in charge, we've started having problems? But the Lux Bell have always been kind. Spacey, the best thing to do is to keep working. There'll be a lot of debts to pay. But that won't solve the root of the problem. And you think dreaming about adventures will solve it? We must face reality. <clears throat> this is not the reality I want! Oh. Damn, my family doesn't understand me. If Dad were here, he would surely support me. I hope he's doing well on his trip. What's that? Oh, it's Dad's travel stuff! Here's a lot of memories. <laughs> Look at that! It's a picture of Mom and Dad just married. How cute! This one seems to be from his college years. He looks so handsome. I wonder who's next to him. Eh? A travel journal? Hmm. Interesting. Dad wrote a lot of information about energy and power plants. This could be useful. I will keep it. There are also many weapons that he made. Oh, I remember he told me about this elastic whip. It can reach long distances without being too bulky. Ah, and how elastic it is. I wonder what's in this little box here. Spacey is a cheerful, energetic, and somewhat impulsive girl who likes to explore and go out to travel the world. Name, Spacey Cheekross. Age, 17. Birthday, April 7th. Height, 5 foot 4. Weight, 110 pounds. Type, animal feature. Snow Worldians. Snow Worldians are anthropomorphic beings from the planet Snow World so-called because of the flake shape of its continents. 
In this world, Snow Worldians and beasts coexist. One of the major characteristics of Snow Worldians is that their bodies resist extreme temperatures due to their thicker skin. Their reproductive organs are hidden under the skin, similar to reptiles. This makes them not modest. They are oviparous, and they are divided into three main features, which are animal, vegetal, mineral. The inhabitants use planetary energy as a source of power. This energy is distributed from the center of the planet to different power plants. Wrist phone. It's the smartphone of the Snow Worldians. It is made of a flexible and transparent material. It can be worn upright as a tablet or on the arm as a bracelet. Some of its functions are calls in loudspeaker mode or private with the call gesture. The sound comes out of the hand through vibration. Store real objects. They are scanned and stored in the phone. However, there are capacity limits. Size of a backpack, approximately. Objects and food can be stored, but not living things. Thanks for reading this comic. Don't forget to like, comment, and share it. That would help us a lot.